This way back Wednesday, I want you to remember what was it? The 80s, the Wendy's mm -hmm. ad campaign. Where's the beef? Well, now the fast food giant is asking that same question, but for real. Yeah, get this. One in five Wendy's is apparently out of beef. So this happening as a meat shortage is happening because of the coronavirus outbreak. So we want to check in with Gibby, who's trying to get more information and help us answer. Where's the beef? But you say this may be a good thing for our waistlines, Gibby. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not I'm not going to talk about people's waistlines during this pandemic, what you're doing at home or not doing. If you want one patty or two, well, Wendy's make it easier for you. You're only going to get one patty at most of these restaurants when it comes to the Wendy's. They say because they've made a change to their menu. As you mentioned, Tess, one out of five. What is that? That's about a thousand out of the 5,500 uh, Wendy's U.S. restaurants. They're not going to be selling hamburgers or meat-based items. One of the reasons, they say, is because they've been the hardest hit during this shortage sparked by the corona pandemic. And the reason why is their reliance to use fresh beef compared with their competitors. Now, in a statement, Wendy says it is widely known that the beef suppliers across North America are facing production challenges. We continue to supply hamburgers to all our restaurants with deliveries two or three times a week, which is consistent with normal delivery schedules. Now, we spoke with the uh, uh, Beef Air Council of Arizona. They say that the supply chains here in Arizona are all remaining open, but there are some restrictions. The whole chain from beef farmers and ranchers in Arizona all the way to um, our retailers that are still open, um, we are seeing disruptions due to COVID-19. And where that's happening right now is in the meat packing plants. And unfortunately, the um, about 10% of the meat beef packing plants across the country are currently offline. Um, though all of ours in Arizona are up and running, they are running at a slower rate. Yeah, so here's the thing. Uh, even if you go online, let's say you use Uber Eats or, or you're having a DoorDash or someone deliver you the food, you're going to see that the menu online has changed a bit. They're emphasizing their chicken sandwiches instead. <sighs> The whole thing here, guys, is we'll have to check in the next hour or so what this means for our grocery stores when it comes to this beef shortage. Yeah, true. But I say just grab a Frosty while you're there, Gib, and you're going to need it today. It's going to be a hot one. From the 99-cent menu, I'm looking at it all. I'll take it all. There you go.